What if Goku was sent to Beerus World? How would this impact Dragon Ball Z finale? If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Hey everyone, it's me, Goku. Welcome back to this week's episode of Dragon Ball Z Discussion, where Goku G23 does his by daily what ifs on Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball Super. Previously on What If Goku Was Sent to Beerus World, we mentioned that Goku has now gone as he has been confronted by Dai Shinken because someone who looks completely like him went and killed the Omni King. Dai Shinken then showed the footage on his staff showing that Black went and stabbed Zeno and took all of his power. Whis and Vegeta watched for Goku being with them the entire time as they didn't leave him alone to do so and from there, before they could do anything, they saw the skies became dark as Black has now arrived. With that, Black has revealed that he was the one who killed Zeno and he took all his power and now he is the new Omni King. Goku went and started to attack with Black as their power is going back and forth but from there, Goku went and transformed to his Master Ultra Instinct. Upon using that, Goku went and started to beat the shit out of Black but he decided to go and display some of his power as he has transformed into his Rose Evolution power. Upon using his Rose Evolution, it is a power stronger than Master Ultra Instinct as Goku and everyone has, was very shocked to see what kind of power that is but from there Black went and beat the shit out of Goku and he managed to one shot him. Dai Shinken got some of the angels to attack Black but Black was easily overpowering all of them as he gained the momentum that either fight or die right here or join him. If they join him, they can just survive. With that, Black went and powered up a blast and aimed it towards Goku's world as the entire planet has blown up. Now he made his way right back to Zeno's world. Find out what happens inside the finale. What if Goku was sent to Beerus world finale? What? Where am I? What is this place? Why is it so dark? Goku, relax. Miris? Is that you? Ah, oh, and I'm in pain. What's going on? Yes, Goku. I just barely managed to save your life. Your entire planet has been destroyed. Goku, there's something you need to know. Yeah, I know already. There's a guy that looks complete like me. He's trying to kill everything. Not just that. He has kidnapped Whis too. That's why Whis not here. He has all the angels under his control now, and his goal is to destroy all the destroyers and all the mortals. Only him and the angels will live. What? Uh, that bastard! Ah! Relax, Goku. There's only one way now we can beat him. You're the only hope. Tch, you saw that. He kicked my ass. What kind of hope can I be? I'm no one's hope. Listen, Goku. You have not achieved your true power yet. Before this, all this went down, father told me about the trump card. And you're the trump card. Trump card? And where's your dad? He has also been captured by him. What? He's that strong that he captured a grand priest? He is too strong. Well, first thing is first. Heal me up, Whis, with your staff. And once when you do, let's go towards Zuno. I need to find out about who this guy is. Okay, but then, listen to what father said. Yeah, what is it? The only way you could beat him is if you achieve a form called the True Destroyer form. Or you could say, Destroyer Evolution. Destroyer Evolution? What? You lost me there. Look, you still have your tail, right? That has a benefit right here. Yeah, of course I have my tail. Okay then, how about we go and heal you up, and I'll tell you exactly what we have to do. With that, Miris went and he used his staff on Goku, begun to heal up all his wounds and everything, and from there, Goku has now become 100% ready to go back in action. But Goku knew that if you go back in action, he will lose. Goku then decided to go towards Zuno as he kai kai right towards Zuno's world. Once when he got there, Goku saw that Zuno was already dead as he got upset and said, This bastard managed to beat us here too! Oh, who the hell is he? Clearly his identity means a lot to him is the reason why he killed Zuno. Well, now that we're all hunted, I don't know what we can do, Miris. Well now, let's achieve this power called the Destroyer Evolution. But how we do that? I have no idea myself. But if we could ask the Super Dragon Balls, he'll tell us. Hmm. 
Either we could ask the Super Dragon Ball's dad or ask him who Black is. But I prefer to know about this power. Okay, let's do it. With that, they then decided to go and collect all the Super Dragon Balls as they managed to gather it and from there they went and summoned the Super Dragon. Once when the Super Dragon came out, Mirrors then asked him about what is a Destroyer Evolution power. Turns out all the Destroyer, you need at least 10 Destroyer, powering up one Destroyer giving all the key to him, allowing him to tap into an ultimate form known as Destroyer Evolution. This power is too strong that the angels themselves fear this power is the reason why it was kept hidden from all the destroyers because they didn't want that destroyer to team up one day and try to overtake the angels. But because this power is so hidden and it's so OP, they were able to only find out throughout the Super Dragon Ball. Once when they heard that, Goku was shocked and said, Wow, 11 destroyers have to gather all together one place, huh? Well, we don't got much time. I have only sense that Universe 12 Destroyer has just died. Black killed him. What? Oh, he's definitely hunting all the angels, huh? No, he's just hunting all the destroyers. The angels joined his side. Right, right. I'm sorry. I forgot. My head's right now too clogged up. I'm too angry. By the way, where's Vegeta? Vegeta has also been captured by him. Of course, this bastard takes everyone that's close to me. Alright then, let's go gather all the destroyers. We cannot let him win. While that was happening, Black has just came back from Universe 12 after killing the Destroyer as he began to laugh and say, <laughs> You thought that you guys can go and get the Destroyers to power up each other and achieve the Destroyer Evolution? How do you know about the Destroyer Evolution? Oh, you silly shorty Daishinken. I know everything. That's the reason why I'm gonna kill all the destroyers. I'm pretty sure Goku has no idea about this, but by the time he finds out about the destroyer evolution, it'll be too late. All the destroyers are already dead. <laughs> You're a monster. Release us right now! Shut up. You guys are no precision to bargain with me. And when it comes to you, Daishinken, I'll release you if you only beat me in a one-on-one -on -one combat, which you'd both know you cannot do that. So shut up and sit down. I'm gonna go and erase the rest of the destroyers. While Black was continuing his crusade, trying to eliminate all the destroyers, Mirrors managed to gather all the destroyers as they came in one area and from there they were confused on what's going on and why the Omni King and everything is being missing but when they've been told about what's going on, they got very scared as it valued their life and they didn't want to die so they're ready to do everything they can to make sure they survive. Mirrors then went and told everybody what they need to do as they all need to gather up their energy and pour it inside Goku. It is pretty much you could say something like the Super Saiyan God ritual but where instead of Saiyans pouring their energy into one Saiyan you have destroyers pouring their energy into one destroyer allowing him to get all the destroyer power thus creating destroyer evolution. All the destroyers were really amazed on hearing this idea as they couldn't believe that this idea exists but the only flaw about this idea is it can only be used once. So because of that they have to use it on Goku otherwise all the destroyers will die. At first they didn't like the idea of using it on Goku, they all thought they can use it on themselves so they can stand a chance but they all knew deep down Goku is the strongest one here. And from there they decided to bite the bullet as they all gather up around Goku and all the destroyers begun to glow into their Hakai form and they began pouring all their energy into Goku. Goku was absorbing all the destroyer energy as he could feel a rush of power coming right towards him and from there Goku began to go and transform as he could felt a scream and he also felt a lot of blood wave around him but the power of the destroyer kept going within Goku's veins as he could feel all the power coming in towards him and from there Goku has now gone and he could feel a push as he went and screamed. <laughs> Goku has now gone and transformed into his destroyer evolution form. After having 10 gods powering up one destroyer, all the power managed to equal into this as Goku has now achieved the power known as destroyer evolution. 
This is Destroyer Evolution Goku. Wow. So this is the power I need if I want to beat Black, huh? Oh my god. This power is amazing. I cannot believe it, it exists. Well, Goku, it is time now. Black is now getting ready to go and destroy the rest. But now you have achieved this power. Let's go towards his palace and end everything. Right, Nerys. I'm ready for it. Back on Zeno's world. What the? What is this power? How can... Before he can even say anything, Goku has arrived, as he Kai Kai did with Nerys. Daishinken and Whis was amazed to see Goku, as you could see that Goku decided to take Daishinken's advice and he managed to transform into Destroyer Evolution. Vegeta was completely shocked as he had no idea what Goku was using and from there Goku looked towards Daishinken and said, I'll release you guys very soon. And as for you Black, here I am. You wanted to go and destroy all the destroyers? Well, you start with the strongest one here. No way. Don't tell me. You found a way to achieve Destroyer Evolution? Before Black can say another word, Goku came instantly right in front of him as he striked him across his face, getting to be sent flying meters away. Black laughed as he went and he powered up and from there he went and screamed. Alright Goku, you wanna fight? Then let's fight! With that, Black went and rushed right towards Goku, as Goku did the same and both their power clash at one another and they were going at it back and forth. With each landing blow, both Goku and Black were going at it head to head as Goku went and he uppercut Black. Black went and he managed to stop himself as he powered up a Rose Evolution attack and aimed it right towards Goku. Goku went and caught the attack with one hand and he dispersed it. Black was confused on that and said, How the hell did you manage to block that? <laughs> you are too weak, Black. Here, I thought that your power will be impressive, but your attack tickles like a tiny little feathers. What? Stop trying to be so cocky. There's no... Before Black can say another word, Goku instantly came right in front of him as he strikes him across his face, getting to be sent flying meters away. Black did a backflip as Goku came right to him and said, Tell me, who the hell are you? I already told you. I am you, Goku. The only difference between you and me is the moment I have been offered to become a destroyer, I instead went and used that power to slay Whis. And once when I slayed him, I got the Super Dragon Balls to give me the power to get stronger. Each person I slay, I'm able to absorb their energy. And that is how the plan of Project Zero, Mortals and Angels begun. But after meeting you, I decided to make all the angels be under my control. And therefore, I am going to kill all the destroyers, but I see it's pointless. You have already achieved destroyer evolution. So you're the sick version of me, I see, huh? Damn, that future must be really messed up. Well, I don't got much time for this. I'm here to end you right now. With that, Goku went and charged right towards Black as he went and uppercut him. Black did a backflip as he tried to hit Goku, but Goku let him hit him and saw it didn't even phase him. When he saw that, he got confused on how Goku was able to let him hit him, and from there, Goku looked towards him and said, You are too weak, Black. It is time I end your life right here. I'm gonna make sure you never exist from any timeline. Now say goodbye. Goku went and he powered up a Hakai Blast as he aimed it right towards Black. Black tried to capture it, but this Hakai Blast was no ordinary Hakai Blast. It got him to be instantly erased as he touched it and he began being erased from existence. With that, he looked towards Goku and said, You will regret this, Goku! And from there, Black has been erased. Goku managed to go and end Black's life once and for all as he managed to go and show him the power of a true destroyer evolution and with that he also decided to go and unleash his true power from the start as he managed to have an upper hand the entire time and he managed to kill Black like if he was nothing. Dai Shiken was really impressed as Goku and everyone came right back towards him and with that they went and released Dai Shiken and Whis and Vegeta 
and now they all decide to go and wait for the Super Dragon Balls to be available so that they can go and use a wish to bring back Zeno. After all, the multiverse does need Zeno. Daishi can first offer Goku one he become the Omni King, but Goku refused. As he said, being a destroyer is already too much on his plate, he doesn't want any more responsibilities. Vegeta continued to go and serve Goku and be on his side, as Goku went right back to his universe, and with that, they managed to go and use the Super Dragon Balls and they restored Zeno. Goku then went and he used the Earth Dragon Ball and he restored his planet, which Black has destroyed, and now Goku will be always on Universe 7 Watch, watching his universe to see if anyone's doing anything, and if you need any mistake or any help, he'll always be there to end everything and help them. This is what I believe what would happen if Goku was sent to Beerus World. Thank you very much for watching this series and supporting it. I greatly appreciate all you guys for watching it. And I hope you guys enjoy the full series when it comes out. And if you haven't seen my backstory yet, what are you guys waiting for? Click the link in the description below and watch Hero Z. You're going to really like that series. And if you haven't joined my Discord server yet, what are you guys waiting for? Also click that link in the description below and join it. So you get a chance to talk with me personally and even RP in that great server. And please subscribe to my boy Vegeta T23. Help him get up to 10,000 subscribers. Please everyone, subscribe to Goku T23. Trust me, you won't regret it. And if you haven't already, please click the bell. That way you will be notified when the next video comes out. Trust me, click the bell. It's worth your time. And if you feel like this channel isn't for you in the future, you can always unsubscribe.